One of my favorite features inside of the Lightroom 5 Beta is the advanced healing brush. I'm sure you're familiar with the spot healing tool, which is kind of useful and does a lot of things, but now with the advanced healing brush, we can do so much more. And not just that, we can actually use it even to retouch wrinkles and do all kinds of things. And there's some really cool hidden little tips in here that you're gonna enjoy. Let's have a look. So we wanna make sure we go to our develop module to access our advanced healing brush. And here's a raw untouched uh, image I shot recently with model Lena. So we're grabbing the uh, healing brush right here, which is the same place where we go for the circle spot in the past. Now what we're gonna do is just zoom in a little bit. We can go to a one one if we wanted. It gives a 100% view, or we could drop it out a little bit to one to two. And what we're gonna do is work on some of these little areas here. So let's actually just go zoom in a little bit more to a one to one. And say we wanna work on this little spot here. I'm just gonna hit the left bracket key. Now in the past, we would uh, set a point and then we would get to move the secondary point to where we want to sample from. Now it kind of works automatically. We just have a single click. It just goes there and automatically creates a sample. So if I hit the H key, you can see that there we go. We just got rid of that. We go before and after we can see how easy it is. Now, if you're unhappy of where it goes, you can actually hit the forward slash key and it will just continue to move around and just sample different areas until you find an area that you're happy with for the sample. Of course, we always have the option to select it and manually drag it around. And also, if you want to use this in the legacy or the old way, you hold down the command and that would be the up, uh, control key on Windows and just click and then we could drag out and we could select our own point. So we kind of have the automatic mode or we have the manual mode. Now, we can set this to clone or heal just like before, but this is where it gets really good. Let me move this up a little bit. And what we can do is if we actually just click and drag, which is what I'm doing right now, it actually turns into a brush. And notice that we can actually create a selection based on a shape. And here we go right now, let me hit the H key. And you can see that we're actually able to just get rid of wrinkles. Look at that before and after. Now it looks a little unnatural because it's, uh, it's a little too strong and we've picked up all the texture from the skin under there. So we can just bring down the opacity. We could dial it down a little bit. So here it is with no effect and then just bring it in a little bit here and just start to just tame those down a little bit. So we can actually just go through here very, very quickly and start to get rid of these problems. Now we could turn the opacity back up if we want. And notice it doesn't affect the spots that have been put there before, just the new ones. And now we can just go around spotting very, very quickly to get rid of these problems. Now we can turn our uh, showing it on, but hit the H key, or of course we can turn it on here. So we can always select other points later on and move them around and do other things. So you can kind of see how powerful this. We can actually do complete retouching now right here within a Lightroom. You know, we could just continue to move around here, just quickly, just spotting out these little blemishes. And I think you get the general idea. We could even go in and start to clean up these eyes if we wanted. Let's get rid of that little spot there. And let me hide them. And now if we hit the before and after keys, you can start to see how we're starting to be able to do some real retouching right here inside of the Lightroom 5 beta. So let's go down and look at a different image and I'm going to show you some more options that are available with these tools. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to show you another option that's really quite cool. It's, it's quite spectacular. Okay, we're going to go into the develop module here. And now if we grab our brush and we want to turn the opacity all the way up, we want to get rid of this power line. So let me just go up a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply just click once. And now I'm going to hold down the shift key and click at the end of this line. And what it's going to do is it's going to create an adjustment. See that it just took it away completely. And you can see there it is. And what it did is actually just created a, a straight line from where, where I sampled that spot. And you could see that, how it did such a nice job of getting rid of that uh, power line, just like that. So let's look at some of the other, uh, some of the other options here. 
Some of the other options we have are, as you could see that we were able to create that straight line just by clicking, holding the shift key in and clicking again. And it's just amazing how it can get rid of power lines and things like that. But what about spotting sensor dust, if we have any of that there? Well, we can either hit the A key or we can go down to the visualize spots. I'm just going to hit the A key. And notice when we do this, it creates this really cool overlay here. Let me just go to fit so we can see the whole thing. And we can see we've got problems here. We've got little spots here and there. And you can actually play around with this. It's kind of like the, the find edges in Photoshop. And you can use it to find problems in the image. So let's put it to about there. And we can see, you know, we've got a little bit of dust and et cetera in there. And so you could actually just go up and you could clean up that sensor dust. Let me go back into the visualize spots again, turn up a little bit more and see we've got some spots here. So let's turn this off and there we go. I can actually see those spots. And if we want to zoom in a little bit, we could, but we don't really need to because we can actually just click and click and start to get rid of that sensor dust. So you can see that's kind of another option that's very useful. The other thing we can do is if we hold down the shift key before we start dragging, we can constrain this brush to a perfectly horizontal, or we could also do to a vertical just by uh, doing that. And then uh, we also have other options too if we want to drag out the circle different ways. If we hit down the option command and that would be alt control, we can drag it out from the center. And then if we want to hit the shift control, which would be shift command um, windows, you can drag it out from the pivot point there. So you can see we've got a lot of options and uh, that is the new advanced healing brush. And uh, I think you have to agree with me, it's quite spectacular.